Hey, welcome back to the show. Today we've got the Victory Kraken VX Mark II to check out today. And this is an absolute powerhouse of an amp. It is just so cool. I've been playing around with it all week. And I'm just so excited to show you guys exactly how this sounds. It's got so many features for such a little amp. A few of the features that's just really cool with it. So this is the Timberslow variant. It also comes in the metal chassis. It comes with two separate foot switches for channel switching, as well as cycling the dual master volumes with a solo selection. It's a three channel amp with a clean tone, a Brit inspired rhythm, and an aggressive American lead channel. The standby switch warms the valves in the center position, moves up for full 50 watts and down for reduced volumes at 9 watts. On the back of the amp there's push button selections for assigning the dual master volumes. There's a gain balance controller which allows you to set the volume difference between the clean and rhythm channel so there's no volume spikes or drops. The other push button selectors are for focusing the bass and there's a present shift to brighten things up if needed. The stock 6L6 power tubes can be swapped out for EL34s with bias test points and using the adjustment dial. And a feature I love is it works with voltages from all around the world. Let's plug it in. So we're all plugged in. I've got it going through my pedal board here with just a few favorite pedals on it. Through the effects loop as well as the front end. We're outputting through the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X here where I'm just using the one Dave Mustaine 412 cabinet with an SM57 pushed up to it about 40% away. That's all we're using just to output this and record the tone today. It's all been done silently in the room, so I'm not deafening the birds. Uh, something that I need to mention, and I really apologize for, it was brought to my attention in the last video that one of my pedals, the yellow one in particular, it was crooked. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. But anyhow, I'll just try and get on with the show as best I can. Starting off, we've got the clean channel. We'll just apply a little bit of chorus and delay to that. It seems to be a really balanced clean channel there. I think it'd take some pedals nicely, just some preamps and things in the front, but, but just checking out channel one now, this is the British inspired rock tone. This British channel to me, it's not copying off a JCM 800 or anything. It's got its own sort of flavor about it, but it's definitely British inspired, but I just can't really put my finger on it. When you push that gain just a little bit more, I just wanted to see how to sound with the Active 81 pickups as we feed more gain in. Seriously loads of gain on that. If we just wind that back a little bit though, and I'll turn on the MXR6 band, a little bit of delay. Yeah, 
This amp is just so versatile though, but something that I've just found makes it super powerful is the actual presence control on this. It doesn't act as that standard presence control, just like putting a blanket over the speaker or what have you. When the presence is set low, you've got that real American dry sort of tone about the amp, but as you turn it up, it really just opens the whole amp up and allows a whole dynamic change of grits and textures and things that aren't necessarily there with that amp. But just to show you here, You can hear by that that it really just makes the amp an absolute versatile chameleon. You can just transform it to just nail the exact tone that you're after. But even just like this, if I just add some chorus and wild overdrive, a tiny little bit of boost in those bass frequencies. It absolutely nails those tones. We'll just keep moving on though. In future videos, we'll dive more into the Gain Channel 1 and just see how far we can push that. But, but let's just check out the Gain Channel 2. <laughs> Even that was just so cool with everything centered. You can hear all the notes, it's really punchy, it's really clean. That gain just has this real sort of guh, guh, heavy sort of hitting. I'll just add a little bit of delay to that in the effects loop. And that really is just such a cool tone right there. It doesn't need any help whatsoever. I just added a little bit of delay just to give that ambience, just to make that 80s sort of sound, but it just does it all flawlessly. It's just got a really cool chunk and bottom end about it. I haven't depressed any of those buttons on the back, so the present shift or the focused bass, they're both out right now. I just think it's a really cool sounding amp as it is for standard tunings, but we'll just wind in a little bit more gain. <laughs>
it really is just one of those amps where no matter where you put the dials you've just got a really cool tone that you recognize off an album somewhere or it's just a great tone to play some sort of riff but it's not like you've really got to search for those sweet spots where the amp doesn't sound right until you hit that zone it just it's just in the ballpark all the time for something and if we just scoop some of these mids away from it And that tone is just right there built straight into this amp. You don't have to do anything to it. Just wind back a little bit of the mids. And then from there, if we just go into the effects loop, turn on the EQ from Hell by Master Effects, Origin Effects, Kali 76 Compression. Absolutely crazy. Even if we just turn off the EQ from hell there, turn on the Puppet Master EQ. It's absolutely crazy the amount of tones that are just at your fingertips here. You don't have to do too much at all. And if we wind back this gain, the amp is still usable. If we feed in a bit more bass there. And lastly, we'll just see how the game goes, just driving it all the way.
I don't think you need to turn the gain up that high for anything, but it is usable even at full gain for those solos and things. And this amp's just amazing. We're briefly dialed in so many tones today with ease that it just seems to capture whatever you just throw at it. It, it doesn't shy away from any tone that you just want to get out of it. And, and I'm just so looking forward to using this in the series, moving on, just capturing so many different tones that we couldn't get before. All that being said, guys, this is my first introduction to the Kraken VX Mark II by Victory Amps. Go ahead, check it out. Absolutely amazing amp. Till next time, bye-bye. <laughs>